Hey you guys, it's Satire Prepper here. Doing a little bit different video. Uh, wanted to go to my local Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty-Five now. See if I can make somewhat of a competent uh, EDC. So first, starting off, going over. You got your medical. You got your Advil. Uh, some bandages, and then a plastic bag. The idea behind the plastic bag is being able to set some bandages in there with the Advil. You can throw it in your pocket. I'll do that real fast. These are the snack bags, so they're a little bit smaller. The idea is just to keep it somewhat water resistant, your sweat, whatever have you. And have a nice little small little uh, first aid kit. Nothing crazy, no anti antiseptic wipes or anything crazy along those lines, but just a little Advil and some bandages. You know, trying to keep the cost down. Roughly this cost about 15 bucks after taxes. Since the prices have gone up, good old inflation and gas prices hit pretty dang uh, high, big high today, like 480 around where I'm at. So that's good stuff going right now. Moving on, of course, got a little flashlight. Takes a little triple A's, nothing fancy. Of course, it's Dollar Tree, so you ain't getting no batteries with your stuff. So you have to buy batteries separate. And that being said, these batteries aren't gonna last long. It might not last the flashlight, but you never know. And you get three extra ones, so that's nice. Uh, I don't think it even tells you how many lumens it is. 80 lumens, supposedly. I don't think you're gonna be war fighting with this bad boy. But if you're starting off with a budget with an EDC, I wouldn't hurt too bad. They kind of go with the flashlight, so some people don't like carrying that stuff in their pockets, and I understand that. You got some carabiners, green or orange, they might have some different colors. And just throw it off that little over that little O clip right there. You're off you go. You can clip it to your belt, chains or whatever, or your uh, car car keys. Also get a little screwdriver set. Might be a little overkill since so you uh, we have do have a multi tool to go over, but it has a nice little pocket to hold all the all the bits. And you can just throw it on there with your carabiner. there. And you got a nice little flashlight and screwdriver set if you need it. And then we got the multi tool. So as you can see, I have some. Uh, Utility knives. I didn't want to run. I didn't want to run this as my primary knife, but you could if you wanted to. Blades are super flimsy. I don't know if you could see the give and take that it has in that. Nothing really locking it in place. Just folding out and go. Flathead. Bottle opener. Skizors. That look like they've already been beat up to an extent. Look at that, it's not even going back into place. Oh, it's because the uh, thing already broke. So maybe, maybe not the best uh, multi-tool out there, that's for sure. But it's something. Phillips head, nail filer, corkscrew. Has a nice little attachment as well if you want to throw it on the carabiner. I want it in uh, trust it with my life but it's something I guess as well as some duct tape idea behind the duct tape which is supposedly the heavy duty kind if you wanted to carry a bit with you could wrap it around the flashlight or the screwdriver and have some excess tape if you needed it just wrap it around there as much as you want and if you ever need the tape you could just use it I don't know how long it's gonna hold up with the adhesives but it's, you got something there Last but not least, utility knife. Should be a safety if I don't hook myself with it to lock it. But I don't think that safety is really working out too well. There we go. So 
So I went with these instead of uh, they have a, they do have a folding knife there. That's no, just the knife itself. But you got three blades with this, or three utility knives. Most people only cut boxes, tape, and all that other crap up. So I went with this. So you get a few more once it breaks. Throw in. You got another one. Let's see how well it cuts though. Basic uh, 550 paracord. Had to put some oomph behind it, but nothing crazy. And then once you have a blade that's bad, you're supposed to be able to pop it. Well, I'm just bending the plastic, so. Ain't going to look too well for uh, cheapo EDC kit, that's for sure. Let's try out the other knife, the flimsy knife, see how well it fit. Kind of has a blade, it seems kind of rough, like I just did it out in the woods with a dry stone. Not, it's not even really cutting, I'm kind of more sawing at the paracord. I wanted cat on this as your main blade, that's for sure. Let's try out the Phillips. Molly attachment for uh, Beretta M9. Loose as a screw. I mean, it's not bad for that. Corkscrew, I imagine, would break after you try to actually pull a cork out, as flimsy as this is. Got a nice not, uh, nail filer, I guess that. Uh, no, not really a nail filer. Ain't gonna hold up too well. Scissors, like I said, the little piece that bends it and extracts, or uh, kind of gives the scissors its movement to open back up again. It's already popping off. Nothing's really holding that in place. That's what caused the issue with closing it earlier. The flashlight's some cheap aluminum. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. They uh, convex or concave, whatever direction that spherical motion is. The uh, plastic around the LED to spread it out a little bit more. Nothing super crazy. See if the uh, little screwdriver carry holds up. So this bit's really not the right size for this Phillips, but it is able to get that out. So you do have that, and then you have another Phillips, and then a flat. In case this breaks on you, which inevitably will, because of just how crappy it is. Carabiner doesn't seem too bad. A few more probably clicks on it eventually will lose that, that spring right there that causes it to snap back. But you do get an extra one once that thing runs out. So, that being said, everything that we've gotten, would I run this as an EDC? Probably not. I think buying decent gear, name brand wise, probably is a decent thing to do. I'm not big on name brands, but probably having a knife that actually, you know, has a safety or works a little bit better and won't break after just trying to break off the blades would be, would be nice. Duct tape, probably not too bad. I haven't really tried to stick it to anything, but I mean, it's cheap, and if you wanted to use that to wrap around something so you had tape on hand. The bandages, I've used this brand before, Corelite. They hold up pretty well. I haven't had any issues, and you know who Advil is. So if you wanted to make a cheap little first aid kit, probably I might do one of those videos to see if I can make a competent first aid kit out of Dollar Tree stuff. Batteries, I give it probably like 30, 40 minutes if you ran the flashlight, if that, before they start tickering out. 
I don't know how long they would hold a charge, but you do get six for $1.25, which isn't too bad. I mean, a lot of people talk about uh, handing those out as trade or using them as trade items, so it might be something if you're looking at more starting a bartering shop or something or want to have something to barter with. Things I probably would have stayed away from, though, knowing what I know now, would be the multi-tool knife. I just see this breaking at some point as well as as much as I can flex it. That's pretty good bend to it. All right pretty much broke it right now let's see it just wouldn't hold up all that long I wouldn't put it against any kind of hard endurance or anything along those lines carabiners aren't bad I probably would recommend getting a decent flashlight at some point you probably could run this for a week or two if you wanted to save up for it a nicer oh light stream light whatever fancy brand you want to run uh, just something a little bit better, it might hold up. S smaller, slimmer profile. So it wouldn't bulge out so much, because this is pretty big, something to carry around. A little screwdriver set. I carry something like this with a little bit more butt bits, T-series bits on them as well. I do like carrying something like this around. I do use it quite a bit. But I mean, that's also dependent on what you do day to day. Knife, like I said, I'd recommend getting a better knife. Well, that's it. Stay safe out there, kids.